All right, so we're all thinking about it already. The World Series is almost over, and we're wondering where are the free agents going to go, right? Um, so I've come up with my list of 20 most notable free agents and then three folks with opt-outs, uh, the most notable players with opt-outs. Um, and I'm going to let you know where I think they're going to go. Um, before I go any further, if you want to know, I, I did a video a couple days ago where about the Yankees, about who they should, what they should do in the off season versus what they, what I think they will do in the off season. It's right down below in the description, so click on that one as well, and uh, click the like and the subscribe button if you like these videos as well, because I want to keep putting more videos out. And click the bell next to the subscribe button too, so that you know whenever I put a new video, a uh, new video out on my channel. Okay, so let's get to this. I'm going to work my way from the bottom to top. Okay, Austin Romine, backup catcher for the Yankees. Excuse me if I stand in front of you for a second. It is a little too much glare on the other side, so I want to stay here. So Austin Romine, a backup catcher for the Yankees, I think he will get an opportunity to be a more full-time starter. I think he's going to go to the New York Mets. Okay, He's familiar with New York, can handle the staff extremely well, is a good veteran, and I think the Mets need some veteran leadership. Okay, um, Dellen Betances, I actually think he's going to leave. Signed with the Phillies. He's familiar with Joe Girardi. Joe Girardi's familiar with him. I think he can give him a, you know, he can sign with them on a couple year deal. And um, as much as I'd like for him to sign back with the Yankees, I'm not sure it's going to happen. I'm not really sure it's going to happen. All right. Next, Dallas Keuchel. Uh, I think he's going to go to a team, Tampa Bay. They're on the verge of being elite, and they can use another starter, a good veteran starter in a low pressure environment. I'm not sure that the Braves are going to sign him again. Uh, especially for a couple years. I think that, that this will be the one Tampa Bay splash, splurge. All right. Mike Moustakis. I actually think he's going to go to Los Angeles Angels. Another veteran uh, lefty bat. Give, him a, give the lineup a little bit more thump. Um, Trout needs a lot of protection. He needs, uh, Angels need a lot. All right. Um, Jose Abreu and, Mike Moose, and, and uh, Anthony Rizzo. I'm going to do Rizzo first. The reason why um, I, I think Anthony Rizzo is going to – hold on one second. Not my list all crazy here. Oh, here we go. I think Anthony Rizzo is going to go to the Texas Rangers. And then I think Abreu is going to go to the Cubs to replace Anthony Rizzo to play first base. All right. Those are my picks right there. Brett Gardner. Um now that Aaron Hicks is hurt and he's Tommy John, I think he's going to re-sign with the Yankees to play center field, the majority of center field, until he comes back. And then I think he'll be a fourth outfielder with uh, potentially Brett, uh, Clint Frazier, probably platooning uh, Manning left field in the meantime, while Jan Giancarlo Stanton playing DH. He should be the DH. All right. Martin Maldonado, veteran catcher. All right. Since Austin Romine's leaving the Yankees... I think Maldonado is going to replace him and give uh, give uh, Sanchez a lot of protection as catcher. Uh, Sanchez needs a lot of days off. Perhaps he can play he can play DH as well and give Stanton you know twenty or thirty games off as well. I think Maldonado would be good to sixty or eighty games as catcher. Um, I think he'd be a, a really good addition to the Yankees. Hyunjin Ryu, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, I think he's going to stay on the West Coast. San Diego Padres. I think the Padres are going to make a couple of moves this offseason. Uh, they're kind of building and they're almost on the verge as well. They added some players, and I think they're still going to uh, spend some stupid money like the Phillies did last year. Will Smith, lefty reliever. Yankees. Okay. I spelled the Yankees wrong. <laughs> and why, why? The New York Yankees. For another veteran uh, lefty reliever uh, in the bullpen, especially with Patances leaving. Okay. Yasmani Grandel, one of the more premier catchers in baseball. I actually think he's going to go west and go to the Oakland Athletics. Um, Marcelo Zuna, been a pretty solid player, but had a little bit of a down year. Um, I think he's going to stay in the, in the Midwest, but go to Cincinnati, become part of the Cincinnati Reds. Josh Donaldson is the next one. I think he goes to the Texas Rangers, actually. I don't think the Braves are going to re-sign him. 
Um, I mean, Texas will give them a, a bigger deal, probably a three-year deal at a good, a decent, solid amount of money. Yasiel Puig. I don't think he's going to have that many suitors, but I think Detroit's notorious for handing out ridiculous contracts for people like that. So uh, players like that. So I think he's going to go to the Detroit Tigers, um, and maybe give. Uh, maybe he'll learn a little bit from Miguel Cabrera and some of the other veterans there. Nicholas Castellanos. Solid player. I think he's going to stay in Chicago, but he's going to go across town and go to the White Sox. Didi Gregorius. I don't think he's going to get a qualifying offer. Um, I think he's going to go across town and sign up the Mets. Um, the Yankees have enough infield protection, especially with Andujar coming back. Um, you know, they can move maneuver players around. I think there will be a decent market for him. Don't be surprised if the Yankees offer him a qualifying offer. Um, I don't think he'd take it, but I think uh, I don't be I wouldn't be surprised if he did take it either way. So, but I think he'll have an uh, he'll have a market and he'll be a, a good addition to the Mets. Good, solid, really good player. He'll improve their defense and he'll be a good addition to their lineup and a good veteran presence presence for a young team who needs some who needs some uh, veteran leadership. Zach Wheeler. I think he's going to come across town and sign with the Yankees for probably a four-year deal, probably around seventy million or something like that. He'll be a number, number two or number three. Uh, you know, and the Yankees need people who can get past the fourth inning and the fifth inning, and uh, he can do it on a somewhat regular basis. Madison Bumgarner with Keiko leaving, I think Bumgarner signs like a five-year deal, probably about a hundred million dollars or so with the Atlanta Braves. Low-pressure environment. Up and coming team too. They're on the verge, and they're a hell of a lot closer to a title or to the playoffs than the San Francisco Giants are. So I think his time is up. Anthony Rendon. I think he's going to team up with Bryce Harper in the Philadelphia, the Philadelphia uh, Phillies, and especially with Joe Girardi there now. He'll be a good addition to handling a lot of these young guys and, and meshing them with these uh, veterans. And he's a low key guy. So he's not a trouble guy, so he'd be a perfect player for Joe Girardi to not have to worry about just be a solid addition to the team. And he'd make the team a hell of a lot better. I don't think they're done spending stupid money either. Okay. And the premier free agent, premier pitching free agent, Garrett Cole, I actually think he's going to join Rio and go to the West Coast, San Diego Padres. Crazily enough, a lot of, there's been a lot of talk about him going to the Angels, but the Padres are closer to being in contention than the Angels are. That's just, that's just the truth. And he would absolutely dominate the American League. As much as I would love him to come to the Yankees, I don't think it's going to happen. Um, he's a West Coast guy. And, um, you know, pairing him with Ryu gives him two more pitchers to really solidify that rotation and uh, make him a hell of a lot better team. So, now, let's go to the three guys with the opt-outs. J.D. Martinez, Steven Strasburg, and Aroldis Chapman. There's more opt-out people, but these are the three most notorious ones. All right, so J.D. Martinez... I think he's going to be staying in the American League, but I think he's going to go to Minnesota and really boost that lineup. They're like one player away from really being an elite team. And I think with them bringing Cruz back and adding him to the fold, that lineup's going to be ridiculous. And it's, it's already really good. Um, but you see how they were against the Yankees. I mean, they weren't able to really hit good pitching. Um, and, you know, the Yankees weren't able to hit great pitching. But... Um, this guy added to that lineup would make him a pretty fearsome lineup and um, make it really a lot harder for the Yankees and a lot harder for the Red Sox and even the Astros and other teams as well in Tampa. Strasburg, um, I think he will opt out and just re-sign with the Washington Nationals and, uh, you know, to stay with Max Scherzer. There's really no other team out there I mean, unless he goes to Houston which I doubt he'll go to Houston. Um, I think it'd be wise for him to stay in Washington and uh, stay a pair up with uh, with Scherzer. That's you know that's one A and one B right there, one A and one A. All right. And last but not least, to roll this Chapman. I think he will exercise his opt out, and I think the owner of the Nationals will spend stupid money and bring him in. He's notorious for bringing in expensive closers. I think he's going to go to the Nationals if he opts out. Um, and. Uh, so those are my picks. Let me know what you guys think or what your ladies think. Um, you know, Leave a comment down below. Leave millions of comments down below. I will respond to every single one of them. I want to know what your thoughts are. Let's put on our GM hats. 
All right, let's get serious now. It's off season. Our baseball fans love to do this stuff, okay? And um, I want to know what you folks think about where everybody's going to go. And take a look at my video down below, especially if you're a Yankee fan. Um, as, uh, and the video is what I think they should do versus what I think they actually will do. And some of this plays a role into that. Um, but um, there's a hell of a lot more free agents out there. If I forgot anybody, leave a comment down below. Um, and uh, I'll be more than happy to add them to my next videos as well. So I hope you enjoy this. Again, click the subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button so you can continue to see these videos and that I can continue to uh, share these videos as well. All right. Have a great off season. Hopefully your team uh, does well. My team is the Yankees, so go Yankees. Talk to you soon.